Hi everyone, this is Jesse Perez Simmons and Jamie Drescher from Morrisville Taekwondo. We're so excited that you are interested in joining Taekwondo and even though we're not taking any new students right now with the coronavirus, we wanted to provide you with a free intro class. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right everyone, we're gonna start by just jogging in place. Make sure you're picking those knees up. Don't do this, try and get your knees up high. Really get that blood flowing, get those arms pumping. When I say jump, you're going to jump as high as you can and pick your feet up. When I say duck, you're going to duck down. Don't bend it all the way over. I'll show you. So when I say jump, I want you to jump, pick your feet up. And then when I say duck, squat down like that. And then as soon as you come back up, go back into your jog. All right, ready? Jump. Duck. Nice. Make sure you're keeping those knees up. Jump. Up. Jump. Keep running. Good job. Got about 30 more seconds. Up. Up. Jump. Keep those knees going. Up. Jump. Jump. Knees, knees. Good job. 10 seconds left. Up. Jump. Three, two, one. Nice job. All right, so now that we're warmed up, we're going to stretch. So you're going to want to have a seat on the floor. Bring one leg out in front of you, either leg, and you're going to reach down to your toes. You want to keep your leg locked out the whole time. We're going to hold each stretch for about 10 seconds. Good. You should feel a nice stretch in the back of your leg. We're going to go ahead and switch sides. Same thing on the other side. So you want one leg in and then the other leg out. If this is easy for you, you want to take your other hand and reach even further past your toes. Awesome. Remember, you don't want to bend in your knees at all. So next, we're going to put both feet out in front of us. We're going to put our toes up towards the ceiling. You want to reach down towards your toes. We don't want to put a weird kind of bend in our back. We're going to lean straight over this way. If you can already reach your toes, you can pick your heels up off the ground a little bit. If this is challenging for you, you're just going to want to reach as far as you can, keeping that good posture. All right, so next we're going to do butterfly stretch. You want to bring the bottoms of your feet together. Your knees are going to be towards the ground. You want them down as much as you can. You can put your hands on your feet this way, and you want to bring your nose down towards your toes. If this is easy for you, you can take your hands or your elbows and try to push your knees down towards the ground even more. Alright, so our last three stretches, you're going to bring your legs out nice and wide, as wide as you can while keeping your toes pointed up and your legs locked out so you don't want to bend in your knees. You're going to reach up and over to one side. The foot and hand that are closest are going to meet first and then you're going to bring your opposite hands up and over. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. And then the last stretch we're going to do, you want to reach down towards the middle. So you want to start with your hands on the ground first. If that's easy, you can put your elbows on the ground. If that's still easy, you can work on putting your stomach on the ground. You want to keep your knees straight and you want to keep your toes up pointed towards the ceiling. All right, guys. So the next thing that we are going to work on is our stance piece. So our stances help us balance and help give us power in Taekwondo. The first one that we're going to work on is a sitting stance, or some people call it a horse stance, but we usually call it a sitting stance. So put your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width, all of your toes facing forward, bending both knees as deep as you can so you're in a nice squat. I should be able to see your knees bent if you're wearing some loose pants. You want to make sure those knees are bent. Everything else is centered. Your back is straight. A lot of people, when they start doing sitting stances in order to get deeper, they do like this, but that's not really correct. You want to be upright to your nice and balanced. So, the next stance that we're going to work on is a front stance. So our feet are about shoulder width apart. Again, all our toes face in the front. We're going to take three steps forward, bending our right or our front knee. Excuse me, this is my right leg. Our front knee is bent. Back leg is straight. All of our toes are facing forward as best we can. If you've got a slight rotation in your back leg, that's okay. But we don't want to be here. That's 
that's actually a weird hybrid between the two stances. So making sure most of your weight is on your front leg, your back leg is again a straight. So let's work on that for a second. Make sure you can feel that good bend. You don't want your knee to go so far forward over your toes either. You want that shin basically straight up and down from the floor as best you can get it. And again, all 10 toes facing forward. The last one that we've got is our back stance. So the easiest way to do this is from sideways. So if you put your heels together to make your feet look like an L, what we're going to do is with one of those feet, we're going to take two steps, bend both knees, and then lean back slightly. So you don't want to be so far back that your front leg is straight, but we're going to be here leaning back. So most of our weight is on our back leg. Our front leg is still bent though. And again, our toes are pointing 90 degrees apart from each other. So our heels are in line. We didn't take a step out or anything like that. <laughs> nice, this, again, call it a back stance. All, a lot of your weight's on your back leg, a little bit on your front leg, both knees are bent. Good job, let's try it the other way. So turn your toes the other way, or make sure you're gonna step out with your other leg. Two steps, and those steps are just to help you get sort of your distancing down. Obviously, once you get it down, you can just step into your stance. But again, most of your weight is on your back leg, the rest is on your front leg, toes making an L. All right, so next we're gonna talk about punches. We're gonna put all our fingers out. We're gonna curl them all in except our thumbs. Our thumbs are gonna be tucked on the outside of our hands. We never wanna punch with our thumbs on the insides because if you hit something, you will break your thumb. So again, all your fingers are gonna go in except for your thumbs. Your thumbs are gonna go on the outside. When you make contact with something, you're gonna focus on punching with the two big knuckles because they are the strongest. We're not gonna hit with the two small ones. Again, when we punch, you're gonna want a straight line from your wrist all the way through to your hand. We don't wanna see any dinosaur heads this way. Right, so we're gonna tuck all our fingers in. We're gonna leave our thumbs on the outsides of our fists. We're gonna put our hands on our belt or our imaginary belt, and we're gonna get into that sitting stance. You're gonna aim one hand out. You're aiming just about at the middle of your stomach. Your other hand that's on your belt is gonna be palm facing up. So in slow motion, at the last second, you will turn your wrist, so then your knuckles are pointing towards your target. So on my count, you're gonna punch. Just one punch every count. Ready, one, two, three, four, and five. Awesome, this time we're gonna do two punches per count. This is called a double punch. Ready, one, two, And five. 
All right, folks, so the last thing that we got to do before we put all our moves together is work on our first block, which we're going to call a high block. So taking that hand in that strong fist, like we stretched our pelvis before, we're going to put that hand on our belt, our other hand also going to be on our belt. Whichever hand you're going to block with, I'm going to use my left hand this time, is going to come across your body and then up over your head. So you want to make sure, step back a little bit better so you can see, so you don't want to be here because if something is coming over your block, you want to make sure that you're going to be able to protect your head from it. So nice and high over your head, trying to make your upper arm parallel with the floor again. Let's try that again. So with my left hand, I'm going to come across my body and then straight up. So the reason we don't come just like this is again, if something is coming down over your head, like someone's trying to hit you with something like that, and you come over, you could actually push their attack onto your head. So you want to make sure you come up in front of your face. So let's try that again. Ready? High block. Good job. Reset. Let's do our other hand. Ready? High block. Good job. Reset. Let's do one more time each. Ready? High block. Good job. Reset. And high block. Now, we're going to put everything that we've learned so far today together into one combo that we're going to call one step, and this one is one step number one. So we're going to take that left hand, step forward into a front stance, left hand high block. Then with our right hand, we're going to switch and punch. Again, making sure to focus on punching with those two front knuckles. Then that same leg, our right leg, is going to do that front kick. So one more time, left hand high block, right hand Punch, hands up, step back, right leg, front kick. Good job. So let's practice that a few more times. Left high block, right punch, right front kick. Nice job. One more time. High block, punch, and front kick. Good job. All right, we hope you had fun learning with us today, and we'll see you in class soon.